Well, markets are up today. The Nasdaq was up 1.2%. That is good. However, the bad news is Tesla stock took a dump. So why? Why is Tesla stock a high tech growth company, very strong? Fundamentals are great in the business. Why is that down while all of tech is up? Well, let me tell you, it's because Elon Musk is tweeting like a madman. Let him have his opinion. I don't really care what he says. Um, everybody's free to have their opinion. However, he is the CEO of Tesla and the CEO of Twitter. And right now he is tweeting all these politically biased, not politically biased, but you know, politically leaning tweets. And right now people are perceiving that as, hey, Elon Musk is tweeting like a madman about this party or this, or this party and that is not helping them gain advertisers, which advertisers help pay for the Twitter business and therefore no advertisers are coming on the platform. He will have to be selling Tesla stock in order to fund the operation to Twitter. So it's all perceived notions. However, you know what? I think in the short term, this is going to be a damper on Tesla stock. But for me, I think it's a buying opportunity. So I'm just adding to Tesla whenever there's an opportunity to buy. And right now we're getting every opportunity that we're gonna get and we're probably gonna have a, another leg down too as you know, these moments in time happen. So Elon Musk, no one's gonna stop him from doing what he's doing, he's the boss, he's the main guy. So is anybody gonna stop him from tweeting like a madman? The answer to that is no. So my you know, outcome is, hey, we're gonna have a prolonged opportunity to add to Tesla stock for the long term. So jumping into other news, Microsoft really, they really wanna buy. Activision Blizzard. They want to close their $69 billion deal with Activision Blizzard, but there's something in the way. Last week, the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, they sued to block the deal. And, you know, Microsoft's, they're going on every front to in order to make this deal happen, to make it happen smoothly. So today they even offered um, Sony. Sony is the maker of PlayStation. So usually when, you, when you're thinking about consoles, you, you think about the competition between um, Xbox, which is Microsoft, and PlayStation, which is which is Sony. So today, Microsoft offered Sony to have the Call of Duty franchise, and Call of Duty is like the main fighting point that everybody wants right now. It's the most popular game in the world right now. So right now, Microsoft just said that they will offer Call of Duty to Sony, and they can have it on their PlayStation Plus subscription service. So Sony has the PlayStation Plus subscription service where you just pay a flat fee every month and you get to play all these games. You can have Call of Duty if you want. Call of Duty will be in that if you want it, says Microsoft. Microsoft has their own Xbox One subscription service. So, hey, I think it's a great deal. However, Sony is just gonna be milking this for anything that they can get out of Microsoft. What do I think? I think that Activision Blizzard is a great franchise. I love the Call of Duty franchise that we just, that we just spoke about. And I also love, and I watch probably every day, I watch professionals and grandmasters play StarCraft. So StarCraft's pretty much like 3D chess economies have to be built and you build armies off those economies and you try to destroy your opponent pretty much. It's pretty sick. I used to play it back when I was in college. I sucked, but now I just like watching grandmasters play it as I just, you know, play out my phone or do something else or listen to podcasts or something. It's a great, it's a great mind bending game in my opinion. So everybody, tomorrow is the moment of truth. We have the CPI print for November, going to be coming out at 5.30 a.m. PST. I'm going to be up for that. It's going to be wild. And it's pretty much going to decide the direction the market's going to be going for the remainder of the year. So everybody jumping into my buys that I made today, I added some Digital Realty Trust, AMD, Google, Tesla, while it's on fire, and Qualcomm. Qualcomm was downgraded today and ended up in the green. So that kind of tells me that the bottom is in for Qualcomm. But fingers crossed. Everybody have a good one. Talk to you later.